number nine sketch graph of f theta equals to minus three cosine minus two theta plus pi by four plus one and a half where theta is between zero to two pi so we had this earlier also as question number six now we are going to sketch this particular function first let me rewrite this function in a very familiar way right which is well factor out minus two and then we get theta minus pi by 10 plus 1.5 correct and since we know that cos of minus theta is equals to cos of theta i could now write this function also as equals to minus 3 cos of 2 times theta minus pi by 10 uh, plus 1.5. Now to sketch this function, I will uh, apply two different methods. So one is transformation of points. Okay, so we'll take up the key points transform them and then uh, get the uh, the graph now i'm not using any graph paper normally in the test you will be given a graph paper correct so as far as the cosine function is concerned let's say cos theta the key points which you have to look into are the cos function starts with one right so it is zero and one and then it is pi by two and zero and then it is pi and uh, it goes to minus 1 and then it's 3 pi by 2 and then back to 0 and at 2 pi it is back to 1 right so that is the cosine function now in this particular case you can clearly see the transformation the x values are getting divided by 2 and then you have to add pi by 10. So the x values, which are the theta values here, so what you do here is, so this is like uh, theta and let's say y, is it okay? So now theta becomes theta divided by 2 and you have to add pi by 10, correct? Okay? So that is how the theta value changes. As far as the y values are concerned, you do negative 3 times the y values, whatever you got here, and then you have to add 1.5. So that gives new coordinates, or we say the image. Is it okay? So this is the calculation which you have to do. So for zero, if I write zero here, now for some students that could be very difficult or challenging. So what I will do here is, I have to sketch the graph also, but what I will do here is, uh, I'll show you how to calculate them. For 0, it is simple. Just put in 0, you get pi by 10 here. Perfect. So pi by 10. And if I write minus 1, so I get uh, minus 1.5. So that is that is the first point. Now, if it is pi by 2, then how do you do it? So let me show you the work here. As I have seen some students struggling. So First, we will do theta by 2. So pi by 2 becomes pi by 4. So let me do it here. So we get pi by 2 because we have to first half it. So it becomes pi by 4. And then we have to add pi by 10. Do you get it? We should have common denominator. In this case, 20 is the common denominator. So 4 times 5. So we get 5 pi plus 2 times pi so we get 7 pi by 10 do you see that 7 pi by 10 20 sorry 7 pi by 20 so this is 7 pi by 20 is it okay now if it is 0 we get plus 1.5 so that's the next point if it is pi in that case first we'll do half of this and then add pi by 10 common denominator is 10 so it again gets multiplied by 5 plus plus 1 and both are pi's right so 6 pi by 10 which could be simplified and written as if you divide both by 2 you get 3 pi by 5 is okay so this is 3 pi by 5 for us right so it is 3 pi by 5 minus 1 minus minus makes it positive 3 and then you add to so get a maximum value of 4.5 correct 3 pi by 2. 
so 3 pi by 2 makes it 4 add pi by 10 and 20 is your common denominator so 5 times 3 15 pi plus 2 pi that gives you 17 pi by 20 right so we get 17 pi by 20 in this case and 0 corresponds to 1.5 as far as 2 pi is concerned 2 pi first divide by 2 and we have to add pi by 10 to get 10 we could multiply both by 5 correct so 5 times 2 is 10 to get 10 pi plus pi over 10 which is 11 pi by 10 correct so we get 11 pi by 10 um, and uh, this is 1 corresponds to minus 1.5 correct so these are your values so on a graph paper you can write down these values and plot the graph is it clear to you now let me show you the method which I normally use okay so we'll go back to question number six where we calculated few things rather so we'll start with axis so we have axis which is 1.5 we have amplitude a which is 3 and we have time period t which is 2 pi by 2 right 2 pi by 2 is pi so pi is the time period for us that is to say we expect two cosine waves in this interval right this is 0 to 2 pi you get the idea correct now let's try to sketch it in the graph paper these are the points which will give you the result so your job is actually done here but let me show you how we could do it without calculating these points correct that's kind of critical to understand and uh, a preferred way of doing things okay so we normally begin with the axis which is at 1.5 we also saw the maximum value is 4.5 so let's say this is 1 2 3 4 5 minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 okay so we'll draw a dotted line for axis at 1.5 so this is 1 that becomes the dotted line at 1.5 perfect now maximum value is three more so from here so it is one two three four four point five three more right this is your maximum value so it'll go up to here and three less right so the minimum is three less than the axis which makes it to minus 1.5 so this is one this is two so somewhere in between that becomes minus 1.5 so i usually use two steps to sketch the graph in the first step we will do without phase shift is it okay in the first step we are going to do without phase shift so what we are going to sketch first is uh, is the graph of minus 3 cos of 2 theta plus 1.5 so cosine starts with maximum and let us say uh, let me just sketch here roughly uh, what is pi for us I want to finish it here so let's say this is 2 pi okay so in that case this is pi for us okay and this has to be divided into four equal parts right so okay so four equal parts right so four equal parts okay so what I'm saying that this is uh, 2 pi so so we get uh, so and the half of 2 pi is pi for us so 1 2 3 4 so 1 2 3 four. this is pi for us is it okay and we divided this into four equal parts so the cosine wave basically starts with the maximum right first part and then it comes to the axis and then it goes to the minimum and then again it comes back to the axis and goes to the top so what we get here is is your first cut at my function of cosine this is one wave correct and this wave actually repeats so zero uh, minimum in between and the maximum right so this is what you get as your cosine function without phase shift is that okay now we are going to sketch f theta which is with phase shift 
So now we'll sketch minus 3 cos of 2 theta minus pi by 10 plus 1.5. Is it okay? So this is pi for us. This is pi by 2. This is pi by 4. So let us say that much is pi by 10 for us. This is pi by 10. That means I have to shift each point pi by 10 unit to the right. Does make sense to you, right? So I'm shifting every point pi by 10 units to the right. Once I do that, then I get my function, which is kind of like this, right? So it is, this is my final graph, is it okay? So we go up to this point, so at, that will be 2 pi divide plus pi by 10, right? So, so if I do 2 pi plus pi by 10, so it goes up to 2 pi plus pi by 10, so 21 pi by 10. Do you see that? And starts from pi by 10. So basically, it ends kind of here. So that becomes your f theta, and this is theta here for you. So that is the exact value which I could do without calculating. But if you are sketching on the graph, you will find these values will perfectly match and that is what you are going to get. So I hope you have understand and appreciate two-step method for graphing. This is your two-step method, right? Two-step method. And also the points, the image points. Both are very good methods to sketch any trigonometric function and I hope that helps. Thanks for watching and I hope you have learned from this video. Feel free to write your comments, share your views and if you like and subscribe my videos that will be great. Thank you and all the best.